Hello friends, this is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and we're coming to you today with a quick video on how to use the voucher process um, with the Ingenious Cloud. This will enable you the ability to charge customers, clients, uh, for premium speed internet. Okay, so let's jump into it. We are logged into the cloud. In our previous video, we showed you how to register with Ingenious for a free cloud management account. There's a link up above um, to that video that will walk you through that process. Um, there's also another link coming up now um, that will show you how to register um, the access points on the cloud. But this video is uh, about the voucher program and giving you the ability to charge folks um, guests, clients um, for premium speed internet, which creates a revenue stream to help you pay for the hardware you've invested for your Wi-Fi system um, and also the cost that you have associated with your internet service provider, um, Comcast, Atlantic Broadband, Verizon, whoever you have. So um, before we get started, please like our video. Um, we have a subscri subscribe button that uh, you can hit to subscribe um, to our channel and you'll be notified when we uh, post future content um, that can help you um, do things yourself technology-wise um, in your small business and in your home. So we're going to click and go into the configuration tab. We're going to go to SSID. Um, when we're in to the SSID settings, um, we're going to set up a premium speed broadcast, okay? In the previous video, we talked about how to set up a basic speed broadcast, and that would be for the, uh, you know, the courtesy um, internet. Usually that's throttled at 1 or 2 Mbps. This will be 10. Um, so you can name it whatever you want. I always name it premium speed Wi-Fi at our locations. Um, we're going to enable the broadcast, obviously right here. Um, we're going to keep a dual band, which is 2.4 gigahertz and 5. I've put in a WPA 2PSK password of 12345678. Um, you can pick whatever you want. Again, WPA 2PSK is the preferred um, security type um, for this type of system. Uh, 802.11R and 802.11W. We're going to enable both of those guys. 802.11R uh, is important in a big environment like a, a campground, a, a marina, a college, um, because it enables uh, roaming. If, if you roam from one access point or antenna to another one to another one, uh, it keeps your phone connected seamlessly. Um, it, it keeps it connected. Um, so we want to enable that. Uh, we're not going to get too much into 802.11w. It's it's more a security protocol, um, but it does make your Wi-Fi network safer, so we want to enable that. Uh, we want NAT mode enabled. We do not want bridge mode. Remember, with NAT, the cloud um, will issue client. They'll do the routing. They'll issue clients' IP addresses. Um, bandwidth limit. Again, the free service was three. Here we give um, paying customers the premium speed, which is 10 download, three up, I'm sorry, five up. Um, and again, that's per client. Um, we'll hit apply here, go over to the captive portal. Um, this is the meat and potatoes of the tutorial. We want to enable the captive portal and select voucher service. Okay, we want to, um, we want the, account to start when the user first accesses it. The other option is when the account is created. Um, we don't want that. We want it when the user first accesses it. If you're a campground or a marina, you're probably going to print these out ahead of time and give them to people as they check in. Um, you may email them um, their login credentials at the time they you know, make the reservation to, to keep this process as easy as possible in the office. Um, that's why we want it to start when they first access it. Okay, so you could issue these a month ahead of time. Um, their week or their month that they purchased isn't going to start until they log into it. Okay, um, you can create plans. As you can see, I've done a day plan, a week plan, a month plan, three days. Um, all you do is put your time period here. If we want to do a five day plan, we can go five day. Um, how many users that we want to be allowed to, to use this service? Most places do three or four users. 
The reason for that, if you have a family check-in, you know, it's mom, dad, two kids, it's not realistic that they purchase uh, a plan for each family member. So this lets them share it. Okay. And then we're going to hit apply. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is cut and paste this link. And this is going to allow us to log into our voucher um, portal. Um, make sure you have send notifications to Front Desk Manager checked off. You'll be notified when people activate their account. So we're going to open a new browser and we're going to paste that link in. And then we're going to log into that just like we did to our Ingenious account, the cloud account. The same credentials. <clears throat> Um, and we're going to make a passcode. We're going to get a voucher for somebody. Um, we'll, let's do a seven day um, voucher. We're going to leave it auto generated and we're just going to hit generate, generate guest pass. Okay, so here we have our system generated username and password. We are going to disconnect um, from our Wi Fi and we are going to try to connect to this premium speed network. Um, to give you an idea of what the end user, the client's experience is going to be. So we're clicking on premium speed Wi-Fi. We're being redirected for our, to our splash screen here. And this is going to ask us for the username and password um, that we were issued. So again, um, the guest is going to have this on a piece of paper and they'll only have to uh, enter it once and the system will remember it. So... We'll go ahead and paste this guy here. And we'll get the password here. And we'll unplug this here. It is always a good idea to have this put in. You'd have your campground logo here, but welcome to Premium Speed Internet. For a Premium Speed uh, account, please go to the camp office or call and you could put the number. Um, so if people come across the premium uh, and they want that, then it communicates how, how they get the access. So let's hit proceed the internet um, and see what we got. Of course, this is telling them they're going to a public network. Um, okay. And just like that, we are connected to the internet using the voucher system. Um, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen so you can be notified when we have future content and we will see you in the field.